Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. This video is part of the series of upgrading TFS 2010 to TFS 2012 with migration to a new hardware. This video will cover part 2, preparing SharePoint for the new system. In this part, we're trying to prepare the old server to be a SharePoint server for the new system. So we have three sections here. In section 1, we will examine the existing TFS 2010 to see the existing component installed. Section 2, we will uninstall the TFS 2010 all components. Section 3, we will install and configure remote SharePoint extension to be ready for the TFS 2012. The first machine is a Windows Server 2008 R2 with Active Directory and DNS. Active Directory has all TFS service accounts needed. The second machine is the TFS 2010 a Windows Server 2008 R2 and TFS install. Let's open the administration console. We have here SharePoint 2010 configure reporting service, uh, building server as well configured and working probably. We also have SQL Server 2008 R2 Enterprise Edition with analysis service and reporting service as well okay let's close this i will open uh, the control panel to start uninstall the tfs 2010 let's go to the uninstall write team there is three component team explorer team foundation server and object model i will start by uninstall the team explorer okay right click and uninstall remove yes okay next uninstall now the uninstallation complete successfully let's uninstall the tfs okay uninstall Successful. Remove the object model. Now it's removed. Then I will insert the TFS 2012 update 1 media into the DVD driver for my virtual machine. I will go to the remote SharePoint extension to install the SharePoint extension. Okay. need to restart the machine the machine will restart log into the machine with the domain admin account in mod 1 the installation will continue and the configuration center will open let's start wizard configure the TFS extension checkpoint okay start next we just have warning for uh, the memory it is less than 10 gigabyte okay it will work well configure now the configuration success let's close this so let's click on extension for checkpoint products here how we grant access for TFS to working with SharePoint. So here we're telling SharePoint that TFS can work with you. So we have to give permission for TFS. But the TFS must be installed and configured first so we can give this permission. But we didn't. So we just examine the old configuration. So let's start this and by access. Here we can see this is the old TFS 2010. We will put here the new TFS after installation at the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content thank you